Hello, it's Ugg here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please like, subscribe. And today we're going to do something different. I've got uh, Zug with me. Hello. And uh, we thought we'd uh, take a look at the um, Dark Tide official trailer and uh, give our comments and sort of like and Zug's first impressions of actually seeing the the trailer. So um, this is a bit of a new one for the channel. So um, we're going to see how it goes down. Really, see if people uh, enjoy it. So. Um, so we we'll, we will try and give some of our insight because both of us are pretty big um, 40k fans. I would say that's more than reasonable to say, isn't it? Yeah, man, I've I've been into 40k Warhammer since I was just a wee nipper. Mm, I've I've probably been into 40k longer than you've been alive, so that's uh <laughs> so I, I i i have a first edition version of 40k on rogue trader on on my shelf next to me so i think uh i think i'm a bit do I. did you buy it in the first edition print mm, no i think it was given to us <laughs> well it was given to my brother fair enough Fair enough. I suppose you passed the purity test. So uh, I guess, I guess, as, as you've not seen this uh, video before, do you just want to start kick off and we'll start saying what you think? Yeah, you know, it's, I think I'll just put it out there. So I'm very big fan of Vermin Tide and all that, and uh, I've heard about this obviously, but I've never actually got around to watching the review. So we thought tonight, let's have a look at it. Yeah, let's have give a look it a go. The, uh, trailer for it. Let's kick it off, shall we? Yeah, do it. So uh, it's all very dark at the moment. Isn't it? Oh, that is definitely a hive world. Look at it. I, and you've not seen this trailer before, have you? No, I've never seen this trailer before. I keep meaning to watch it and find out about <laughs> Dark Tide, but I've, uh, you know, as everyone knows, I'm very slack about doing anything. No, uh, you are pretty slack. It's got a nice, um, it's got a nice green and orange hue to the planet, hasn't it? It looks like rust. Yeah, it's that's what makes you think it's a um, it's a high fold, man. Because basically, you see all the blue there. That's probably city, and the rest of it is just desolate nuclear wasteland. Okay, yeah, so let's uh, carry on. So obviously, obviously, uh, the, the videos are reversed because I'm a little bit paranoid about copyright stuff because you know they've done this before. So, um, but obviously, uh, all credit to Fat Shark for the trailer. And uh, for bringing us the game, and also for Verbum Tide 2, to be honest. Yeah, let's hope they um, put as much effort into this as they did with Verbum Tide 2, because to be honest, it's turned out to be a really nice game. Yeah, alright, so let's go. I'll just pause it there. Looks so, okay, uh, yeah. That's, def that's definitely a hive city. Mm. Definitely a hive city, and it's so far, I know it's all pre rendered graphics and whatnot, but it's, it's looking really nice. It sounds like a little tiny spaceship or something sticking out the top of it. Like I can I can point with my mouse and see on the screen, but it's like oh, yeah, obviously at the very it. top of the of the spire, there's like a little um It almost looks like a Crusader class. It could be a it could be a part of a spaceship, couldn't it? Yeah. Let's um let's uh let's watch some more. Obviously Warhammer. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Classic underhive aesthetic there. See, so you got oh, to see on the... Um, I suppose it'd be reverse view. So on the right, you've got the, uh, the Imperial Aquila. And on the left, the juxtaposition of just like shanty fucking walkways and hanging walls and wires. Yeah, yeah. It looks, uh, it looks cool. It looks cool. It's like a nice aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing there. There you go. Let's have a little bit more funky music. What was that thing anyway? I think that was a Valkyrie gunship. Yeah, it's a Valkyrie. And it looks like here are our here initial are. people. So what have we got here? We've got, I'd say, some sort of Inquisition alkaloid, a... Stormtrooper and Ogryn and I'm not sure who she's meant to be, but she's got a power sword, so probably someone important. I mean, a of some kind. I mean, I've heard, I've heard like rumor that it might be like a Inquisitor's retinue. Oh, that makes sense. 
So that might be an astropath then, the person on the for you would be on the right because you've switched, haven't you? But one of the robes basically might be an astropath. I can't see the face, so I don't know if they've got the third eye. Uh, obviously that Ogrin's uh, like number five, whatever that means. Johnny five. Yeah, let's, 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 let's crack on a little bit more. Ooh. Okay, so, got... so the alkaloid's face is a bit weird. Which one? Like, the one in the robe. What, the one in the hammer? Yeah, it, it, their face is a bit... I don't know, it, it's just a bit strange. Don't have to go for no regime warning, do we? <laughs> No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it looks like it's made by somebody who has just a, a very vague idea of what faces look like. So, like, the sign <laughs> looks fine. Even the Ogryn, the Ogryn's mm. features, you know, it, it's big, it's it's a bit brutish. It's just, the, the Alkaloid's features, just, are just they don't look like they've been made properly. Mm, Maybe okay. where we've bought them. Maybe. So these pauses never work well. Oh no, that was sorry. Pause it. Play it again. I think it was just where we paused it because as soon as the alkaloid started moving, the features actually came more to life. There we go. See, now obviously it looks quite good. I, th- I literally think it was how we paused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These things are always uh, unfortunate. <laughs> no, so far I did. And also, what I appreciate is lots of melee weapons. I do love melee combat. I mean, everyone's got a melee weapon, haven't they? You've got hammery, hammery lady. We've got a thunder hammer, we've got a chain sword, we've got a... I can't remember what the Ogryn's swords are called. Big old knife. Um, big old knife. And big old knife. Hammer. Yeah. So that's... Uh... And I think that's probably... Uh, that's our chain sword. It's a bit hard to pause it. There you go. Let that let that section of combat run for a second, man. Okay, we'll just go back a second. Yeah, we'll look. Oh dear, this is not the easiest thing in the world. Oh, right, I'll put it back. Yeah, that was that was quite. Um, there was a nice guttural feel to it, which I really appreciate with chainsaw because you know you, you imagine a chainsaw. And I was I was really worried that the the melee combat was going to be like almost like it was just tapping, but mm. with that you really got, you really got the feel like the chainsaw was hitting and sort of biting and then pulling back. Do you, th- <coughs> oh, do you think in like the um, in game terms that's going to be like a continuous say left click so you hold it against the opponent? Um, you know, because you, because that's the way in my mind you'd do it, wouldn't you? You'd like have a left click, and that'll be because you know, having played Vermintide, that would almost be like the power up attack, but it would almost be like you'd power up, and then when it hits it, you just hold it down, and it goes into it. But if you click it, it'll kind of swing. So if you revert, or if you reverse it, or rewind it, man, because you could do it as well. This is the yeah. first time we've done this, so we're we're just doing a watch together thing. So, it's see what i mean bit. just there bang and it was just like left click hold down yeah. there then release and then it will be like left click again to swing to the next guy yeah because man like I, th- I mentioned in one of the other videos we're doing i've been listening to a lot of gaunt's ghosts and i think dan abner uh, did a really nice description of how um, gaunt's chainsaw was working the, do you talk about left clicking a lot he didn't talk about left clicking as much as i would like <laughs> But he was talking about it, um, the swing of the chain sword, and basically it getting stuck and it, it, um, shuddering and having to like rewind the chain sword so it basically reversed and spat out. And I think that has got a really nice feel to it there. I will say you've managed to pause it a really, really nice blood sort of like trail if you look at that blood sort of like yeah. coming out of that chainsaw it looks really good and it's kind of yeah. it made the person's head explode <laughs> it's, like, it's really good well, i think if, if i was hit by a chainsaw like that man my head would explode as well yeah no it's Should good proceed a little bit more and see what else oh, happens yeah, yeah man so it looks like the power or it looks like there was a it's like the power like a mall or a power mall or like some sort of big sledgehammers coming up next so before we watch it I can't decide whether it's going to be 
a thunder hammer or if it's a shock maul. <laughs> it's probably it's probably going to be a shock maul. It's got to be a shock maul. It's a human wielding it. So yeah. let's have a look. Block as well there. Oh yeah. Right, let's go back back to the mall. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Ow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think I think it's a shock mall, but obviously we'll find out when the game comes out, but that's got some nice meaty hits to it. I, I appreciate the little uh, the lightning effects come off of it. It's quite nice. Again, obviously it's, it's made on the same engine that Vermintide is made on, so yeah. I think Melee Comet's going to be really spot on because mm. you know, Vermintide it already feels pretty visceral. The combat it doesn't just feel like you're flailing. You know, I know I was well I when was I play it. <laughs> The last video we made, I was laughing about effeminately wafting my wand at someone with yeah. a torch. But even that, it, it felt the the hits felt like they were connecting. Yeah, they yeah. didn't feel like a huge disconnect between weapon and action. Oh, so Go that's back. worth a rewind, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like covered in blood. This is some blood everywhere. Oh, look at that meaty arm as well. Oh. Look at that. That's a girthy arm, isn't it? That's okay, this is, this is, this is, really is that the is that the view you get from first person view all the time in like real life when you like reach out for the kettle? Add more tattoos, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and that vein as well. Look at that vein. That, that popping vein, yeah. You know, it's I know it's dumb, but from somebody who's like studied art and been in the art world and is in the art world, I really appreciate the texture they've put on the skin. It's not like um it's like cyberpunk 2077 kind of level but obviously they've spent 10 years polishing that shit but this just for what it is and it's you know it's literally just a floating arm mm. um in game sense i think they've done it's, it's just really nice also if you look at like the um the little blood splats in the air so if you look at like the oh yeah so I'll sw- oh again for you because you switched it it'd be over on the left wouldn't it yeah yeah, it's it again. It, it's classic fat sharp, man. It's it's visceral. It. Have we, have we got a better idea of what opponents they're fighting as well? Just looking back, because like, uh, we've seen people being gibbed quite nicely and turning to splats of blood. But there's oh, who's that? Uh, mm. uh, I'd say just cultists of some kind. They don't like gangs or anything. Let's see if I can. Rewind it ever so slightly to get a better shot. Yeah, man. Just do it. it just capture whatever you put on there. So because it's the first time we've done this, so yeah. Hang on. Let's see if I can. Mm. You need to do what you like, man. Yeah, I'd say that they're just some sort of cultists, man. I don't think they've. There's no like chaos iconography on them or anything. So that's true. Or they're mutants, maybe. Mutants. Oh, if you go back to the one with the hammer, the shot, shot with the hammer. Oh, yeah. What sort of... I'm just thinking, is that like a sort of a hospital type environment, or is it just like a workshop or something? It's got books and shit in the background. It could just be an officer's quarters, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering what the sort of environments they're going to be, we're going to be fighting in. It's a bit more lit up there, but you still can't quite tell. And I know for some people, this is this. I don't know they might not like us analysing every single fucking frame of this, but it's it's the first time I've seen this, and it's quite interesting, and it looks pretty good. It's if, if you look to the right hand side there, is that like a window looking into space or something? Oh, I'm just, <laughs> if you look on that front, yeah, I think it is. Or it's it's looking out. Because that means there might be like not levels that are on the hive world, potentially. Yeah. Although it, it might just be looking out into the darkness of the city, because you know it's hive true. worlds there. Oh, good point. Mm. Good point. Right, 
Oh, uh, that was that was the sorry. I've got to go back again. Just that 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 felt nice. What is he was putting nice out of? Just some sort of dog beast thing. Mm. So that so that is obviously Imperial Guard, you know, standard Imperial Guard trooper, maybe stormtrooper, because he's in the pauldrons. Oh no! Look, actually, if you look at his necklace. Oh, look at his necklace. Royal necklace he's wearing. Yeah. And if we get his shoulder pads, or if I say his, you know, it could be a woman, I don't know. They're fully really? armoured, it could be anything. Yep. Yeah. So I should use gender neutral pronouns because obviously we don't know. They? Um, <laughs> they have um, seals of purity on their shoulder pad. Do they? Yeah, on the. Oh, Sorry, it's breaking my brain that you've got it switched. I'm trying to just say whichever because I can look at it on the right hand, on their left, uh, their left arm. All oh, right. So yeah. Shall we, let's yeah. Uh, change all that again. Yeah, that was nice. Definitely the input, or definitely the inquis inquisitional symbols. Oh yeah, I think I think we've got chaos. There we go. That's definitely quite chaosy. Yep. Got his chaos helmet on with his little oh, plume. It's, it's not just the hat that tipped me off, man. It's the face. Mm. That's a face only a mother could love, and even then. Yeah, yeah. But you live in London, so I'm sure you're used to seeing the face of chaos all the time. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. Basically, ha. wandering over to the off license at three in the morning, it's just pretty much what you see. But they, they settle up like that. Anyway, let's crack on. Oh, there's some quite good views of the characters there. Yeah, let's see if we can do it scene by scene. This, just as a thing, the, 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 the woman with the with the hammer, she looks like with the robe. She she's got like a almost like an adapter so sorry so 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 It's the haircut. A haircut, yeah. A haircut seems to be. It's almost like is she a, like a repenter because she's got the fucking scroll work, and has she got like a has she got like is that on her sh on her her elbow like a padlock or something or. Maybe. Hang on. Let's see if I can just scoot it forward a little bit. See what it does. That might be a sister. I don't know because the sister repentia usually have the uh, the eviscerator chain swords. So she yeah, that's might, true, but she might be some weird. She might be, and again, there's the inquisition, the inquisitional seal in the middle, mm. the purity seals. It's just a haircut. Oh yeah, the haircut is, <laughs> It's just it, like <laughs> it might just be a nod to these um Maybe. Sorritas, though. Mm. Oh, let's let's go back to our, our chunky boy. There he is. Oh, oh that's yeah. a perfect shot. That's a perfect shot of him. I think we found what character you'll be playing. Um It looks like he's got a grenade launcher. And Maybe. as we both know, I'm not allowed to play with grenade launchers. You aren't allowed to play with grenade launchers. I can't be trusted. If you go back a bit, like a bit more. Yeah. A bit more than that. Uh, that's, um... I look at the, the uh, possible Sorita. She's loving it. Yeah, yeah, She's gonna fucking get some. Because what, what weapon is she using there? Is that like a... Uh, or a rifle? Or is that like a... It looks like a melter. Maybe? Uh, I think that is... This is the barrel. Maybe not. An auto rifle? A, an auto rifle, yeah. Because... He... or oh, they... Are pr that's... Pr I don't think... I'm not sure if it's a hell gun. It might just be a last gun. The hell guns usually have a squared... Um... Muzzle. Yeah, I'm pretty... That knows. <laughs> 
no, some sort of, of LAS variant. It's a bit weird to use, isn't it? A LAS rifle. Because uh, like, if it... Like, it no might be recoil? Oh, yeah, <laughs> or maybe not. It might be a hot shot. Because it's just like the red lighting on it. Like, mm. It might be a hot shot. Mm. LAS rifle. But I definitely think she's using an auto gun of yeah. some sort. You can see where I got the profile from the, the barrel there. Yeah. That is also some sort of Laz, but that seems more it's different, isn't it? So I'm assuming she is a sergeant as she's got the Vox caster on her head and she has some sort of nicer looking gun. And then we've got our chunky boy. Is. He's got a tattoo to the Emperor. Shockingly. I, to be honest, it would make me laugh even more is if Emperor was spelt wrong. E M P E R O R. But then, I, on the one hand, it would fit that Orgrin had the tattoo wrong, but on the other hand, if a commissar saw it, they'd probably kill him. For That's true. <laughs> Should we uh, crack on? Yeah. Actually, pause it there, because that that wasn't a grenade launcher. That was some sort of like the Ogre was using shot. some sort of like fuck off. That's a... <laughs> a little look at the. See if I can pause it in the right place. Oh god, yeah, it was just like a giant slug. <laughs> it's like a... Yep. So. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it seems it's just a massive slug weapon, which is quite funny. <laughs> yeah. And I think the sergeant, she's using some uh, a sniper variant of the LAS gun. I can't remember. We'll see that in a sec. Which is really annoying because, I've, as I said, I've been listening to Gaunt's Ghosts and Larkin comes into it a lot with his specialty um Sniper Laz variant, and I can't remember what it's called. I was literally <laughs> listening to it like two hours ago. The lighting effect's quite nice, though, with the. Um, no, do you think that's light. like a light? Because yeah, it, it, is it two of them on there? No, I think that's just from her view, but she definitely had a light on the side of her rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was from before, yeah. So let's see what happens. Yeah, that's. Definitely an auto gun. Yeah. Just quickly, the uh, the just the textures, man. They're quite I quite like them. They're nice, very smooth. Absolutely. That's worth a pause there. Let's see what just. Yeah, go back a little bit. Look at those nice staircases. Oh yeah. And also, there's more evidence that there's definitely an auto gun with the uh, muzzle flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, look, look at those. Uh, there's like chairs and shit. <laughs> so, what is it? Some sort of like. It's probably some sort of Adeptus Ministorum, like, bureaucratic office. It does look so, like, like that. Yeah. Waiting areas, a little porthole. Reassuring to know that in the in the in the grim future of the dark future in the Greek there is only queuing. <laughs> oh, again, it's a, it's a rendered cutscene, so you can't really take it for no. gameplay. But quite nice though, definitely very chaosy. It would be not. I I would like to see though. That they're doing this in 40k. I know they've done lots, lots of chaos with Vermintide and all that now. It would be nice to see some like Dark Elder or some Orcs or something other than chaos. Mm, you're probably going to get chaos. It's probably going to be chaos. Chaos. He's uh, got a skull on him, ain't he? That. No, he's definitely. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Look at that. What is that? Chaos it's doll. Chaos. It's not a demon or anything, is it? No, it's not that, well. Not that I can tell. 
it doesn't look like any of the chaos sounds we've seen before. But oh, what well, although but that's like a different enemy type from any of the other Vermintide games or anything like that. There's no like, there's no like adding of textures. Yeah, but there's no like dogs and shit in the other game, are there? There's no like, there's literally no quadrupedical tiny <laughs> animal beast things that you leap at your face. So that's a sort of like a different enemy type from the humanoid sort of standard, even if it is Skaven, so yeah, something to note. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Also, that's a really nice shot of the Laz rifle there, but also if you look in the background, you can see the ogre and he's reloading his giant fuck off shotgun shell look at that that's a massive absolutely fucking huge shotgun shell <laughs> how big is that it's massive yeah. also i quite like the the pause there look at that that's a really nice flare from the uh the las gun uh, yep oh that's nice again i think this is uh pre-rendered but it's it's still it's yeah. quite impressive that's cool. Oh, Ooh, we've got grenade. grenades. Grenades. Alright, let, let's hope they actually uh, captured the essence of grenades like they did in Vermintide. The fair, it looks fairly right. captured. <laughs> yeah. it's, not amazing. it's not amazing, but it's not I don't know what you want it for, for a grenade though in a computer game mm, uh, you know like Doom captures grenades quite well but Doom? yeah but it's not really fair to compare this to Doom what like the new Doom games yeah the new Doom games alright because you bear in mind when you say Doom to me I think the 1990s Doom I was oh, like well, yeah. were there grenades in that <laughs> no Sorry, I know it's people are going to get really annoyed if we pause it, but I'm just. I think the kickback from the Laz rifle is quite nice. And also, look at the like at the wide open space with the, the whole. Do you, do you think there's going to be more shooting in this game than like in Vermintide? Probably. I would hope that in this, like in Vermintide, they prioritise the melee combat and mm. range is sort of a secondary fallback. Whereas in this, I'd hope they'd switch it and it would be ranged as the the main aspect and melee is the fallback. It's just like a lot of the screenshots you've seen in it have been people shooting. There's not been a massive amount of melee combat in it. So uh, it does make sense, doesn't it, from the, the background that that would be switched, so, you know, the balance between melee. Whilst melee is effective, and because it's 40k, it's kind of thematic that you would have it yeah. in there. But obviously... Um, like an Ogryn would always favour melee over the ranged, because, you know, obviously the Ogryn can't shoot very fucking well, which is why he's got a shotgun with one bullet, <coughs> well, one cartridge. He got one bullet at a time. Yeah, so once he's yeah. spent that cartridge, he'll go in there and bludgeon whoever's alive to death with his shotgun. Yep. Oh, what was that, man? What was that? That was a little that was something back there, wasn't it? Let's see if I can capture it. There we go. Uh, that looks... I'd say it, it looks Possessed? like a, No, it's a great unclean one, but... A is it a great unclean or like a... Or is it like a... What the, the, the what are the other ones, <laughs> you know, the the, the lesser demons of chaos, but no uh, plague bearers. Uh, maybe a plague yeah. bearers, or it could be a pox walker. Yeah, maybe it's it's too small to be a great unclean one. Great unclean ones are like fucking massive. I mean, we've eight wait we've eight of edition, or it could be a pox walker. Yeah. It does seem to be holding some sort of rusted weapon, which is quite nurgly, so I would assume mm. it's nurgle. Although, sorry, going back again, it might just be a spawn, because if you notice, 
sorry, I'm fucking it up. If you notice, um, that isn't actually a rusted weapon it's holding, it's a tentacle. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? That. I'm quite impressed. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Yeah, 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 man. It looks, it looks like it might be, a, might be quite amusing, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to get it. Although, oh god, they're using the the new bloody 40k logo on it. Which I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not. Fan. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, not you know. Fan of the new 40k logo. But... I don't spend that yeah, much time looking at it, to be honest. No, yeah, I, I think it's going to be quite yeah. good. And to be honest, the, the bar for 40k games isn't that high anymore. Like, what, no. Dawn of... <laughs> fucked up Dawn of War 3. Mm. The Space Hulk game was just, what, we did one playthrough and just went, eh. Mm. So hopefully it's better than all that stuff. But I mean, obviously it's you know incredibly early days, and we haven't. This is like literally the first trailer that they they release for it. So yeah, and it, you know, very, it's gameplay footage in there. Yeah, but I mean, you know, but you do have to sort of like measure that against the fact that you know we literally play Vermintide two, and and it doesn't look too far away from that. That's what I'm saying. Realistically, you can probably achieve that within a game, and that'll be a good to good effect. Within a game, yeah. Fat Shark have, have um have really nailed Vermintide Two. Yeah, you know it's got it's 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 a map crawler. You know, it's literally just go in there, kill yeah. the things. It's, Absolutely, you know, it keeps me coming back. I really enjoy it. Yeah, and you know they increase the difficulty. And oh, you, we've seen that like, they do change up the formula, don't they? They do change up the formula, and they do kind of. You know, yeah. change even if it's not um, in a massive way, they still try to like. Like today, with Chaos Waste coming out, man, I I really enjoyed that. It was weird, and you know, they've they've just it's not just you know, oh, grind weapons, then go in here and do this. You've won. Mm. It's they're slowly changing bits of it, so you've still got the base game of grind gear win done but now there's like there's the weave you can go and try and then they've now they've got chaos wastes which is like an ongoing map you have to keep doing and doing and it's just mm. i think they're taking Definitely. a really good direction yeah, yeah absolutely but okay so that's just our like really short first impressions of uh the the two minute video which we stretch out to half an hour <laughs> <laughs> but you know hey that's the way that's what the internet is for so um if you have enjoyed the content, then uh, if you could throw some likes, hmm? and they better are done. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, if you've got any comments on the trailer, love to know. Yeah, yeah I'd be yeah. interested in though. If yeah, because like you know, it's something I think I'm personally, I'm I'm a tiny bit hopeful for because I'm so used to being disappointed in life now and, and not just life but <laughs> it's just disappointed with games and stuff like that but you know having played Vermintide 2 I think it's something that they could potentially you know achieve they don't seem to be able to make a good 40k game at the moment in the last no. couple of years like the fantasy games really good we've got um Total War, we've got Vermintide, there's a uh, what was the other one that I can't remember? Chaos Bane, even Chaos Bane, Chaos Bane's not too bad, it's <laughs> sorry, I was not sure if I, the world would agree with you on that well, it's not it's, you know, it's Diab Diablo 2 with mm. a Warhammer fucking skin on it Yeah. It's not awful, but it's not, you know, revolutionary it's not done doing anything new Yeah, but, but anyway, yeah, bed like Dawn of War three. Sorry, <laughs> but anyway, right. But anyway, we are ending. So um, yes, but if you could let us know if you have any opinions on it, any comments on it, it'd be great to know. And um, if you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, do all that great stuff. And uh, I've been Unk, and I've been Zug, and I'll see you next time for whatever goes up on the channel. Later. See you later.